what up rc so the word that everybody is using now is diabolical so i'm gonna try to use diabolical when we're talking about zion so that's the key phrase of uh 2024 all right so we got zion at like we got him at three i don't know man if he links up with don carter then we could definitely move him up to like number two but i still i i want to put nomad two and then Zion at three, because we haven't really seen much of Zion. Plus, he just got whooped on by Tejada. Now, leather pants, a white beater, and a jean jacket, that's diabolical. <laughs> this is a ridiculous outfit right here. With a metal chain on, it ain't platinum or nothing. Yeah, this is this is this is a ruthless fit right here, my brother. But anyway, we just rediscovered that Zion is trying to fill that vacuum that the Russians have because Tariq St. Patrick told Rashad Tate in a relay message to tell the feds, the ATF, the DEA, to arrest the Russians. Now, we found out Don Carter was actually out there, too, which would be. Which if Zion was partnered up with Carter, he would know that the Russians got arrested and kind of who it came from Rashad Tate when we know Rashad Tate was the one that helped Tariq St. Patrick get Obi's green card which Obi got arrested for for the green card so that right there using the process of elimination Zion is probably not with Don Carter because Don Carter was investigating Obi who's with Noma who got the green card from Tariq who got the green card expedited by Rashad Tate who was the one that called the police and got all the credit for knocking the Russians off. So if he was partnered with Don Carter, Don Carter would say, hey, wait a minute, Tariq St. Patrick is the one that got them Russians up out of there. Don't work with Tariq St. Patrick. So just using what we know now, Zion isn't connected with Don Carter. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see how I did that? You got to take what we got. We got to, you know what I'm saying? Plug and play. Pause and pause, you know what I mean? Pause and pause, but plug and play. Now, he's trying to fill the void that the Russians have, but Noma's doing that right now via Braden. The way we could connect Zion to the downfall of the Tejadas since Kane whooped on him and Kane won, Kane is with Noma. Noma is the one supplying the Russians. Brayton knew about Noma. He told Zion, and that's how the whole situation kicked off. Hey, what is you guys' issue with Kane? He might have Kane, I mean, uh, Tariq and Brayton go after Kane. And if you can't get them, Get me one of the Tejadas. Now, we know Tariq is trying to protect Diana. Or, if he does investigative work, Eric, think about it. Think about this setting. I know we're talking about Zion, but we're still trying to connect Zion to Don. All right. I know that Rashad Tate and Tariq St. Patrick have worked together to get a green card for Obi. We only know Obi. Obi runs the whole organization. He doesn't know about Noma. Remember, Obi said they think that he runs the organization. So if Rashad Tate is helping get the green card of the head of the operation, Obi, and he was working with Tariq, there's got to be some fishy stuff going on here. Why would you get a why would you bust the Russians when you're trying to get a green card for the drug dealer? You see what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at it. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. He wouldn't know, but I think Don Carter's smart enough to piece that together. Like there's something up. If you two are working together, the Russians get because remember, he already told Tariq, you smell just like your damn daddy. A fucking sn <laughs> I smell, I smell, I smell snitching. I snitch.
<laughs> Excuse me. A snitch? Don Carter ain't as dumb as we think, man. Don Carter is piece of shit together behind the scenes. Drew knew Obi was in jail. Drew came up there to try to get Obi, but they wouldn't release Obi to Drew. He had a call. Day. See, everybody's tied into this. This is some sloppy shit in real life. In real life, stuff like this goes down, but in the end, everybody's going to jail. No one's getting out of this. Nobody. Not even little Diana. Diana going to go to jail. They're going to have that baby in prison. That baby going to be dumber than Zeke. And it's just the way it is. You know, the cycle's going to compete. I mean, not compete, but continue. They're going to be coming up to me talking about, Mo, you want to adopt this baby? I'm going to say, how old is this kid? They're going to say, it's supposed to be two months, but I know it's walking and talking, but it's supposed to be two months old. No, 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 no. Because if that baby get that Zeke gene, it's over with. It's over with. It's likely we'll see Rashad Tate. Well, they did mention Rashad. They mentioned Rashad when they said that Kamal got his job from that. Maybe we'll see him, but I don't, I don't, other than trying to tie Braden and Tariq into Kane, let me ask y'all this. Could we see, because Zion's been talking to Braden. Remember, Braden was getting played by Kane. Could we see Zion talking to Braden on one of the next pickups? Hey, man, what you know about Kane Tahada? You know, you were talking to me about trust the other day, and if you really want to gain my trust, could you get Kane Tahada to meet me somewhere? How close are you with Kane? And you know Braden nervous, but Braden will go through with it. What y'all think? Cause I'm trying to find a link to try to see if Zion could, cause he ain't going out with that L against Kane like that. And he just built up Braden's confidence. Like, Hey Braden, you give me some information. Okay. Okay. Now I can trust you. You gave me some valuable information about Noma. L may be related to Zion. Oh no, man. L's a junkie, man. I don't think Zion would be supplying dope knowing that his little cousin or sister is a junkie. But then again, if you're a real dope dealer, it don't matter who gets the drugs. <laughs> Braden owes Kane. See, that's what I'm saying. Braden does owe Kane way. Like, hey, I gotta get you. I gotta get even one time. I gotta get you one time. Braden doing it. I think I like that. I, 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 let me. Braden moves, uh, connect with uh, L, moves new product. Well, they ain't moving new product, but they linked up together. So we can go ahead and get that out of there. Don kills man next to Drew. Yeah, we got that right, so we can get this one out of here. We'll replace that with. All right, man. It, uh, I'm I'm trying to make it connect, but it's looking like Zion might be weak, bro. 
It's looking like Zion might be weak. They hype Zion up the first four episodes just for the fifth episode for him to lose to Kane. If they were going to do this with Zion, they should have had Zion like fighting people in season four. I mean, season three going into season four, man, because they hyped. I hate when they do that. They they hype a character up. They take him to 10 and then it's like, man, he ain't really on 10. I'm not even built like that, Tommy. That ain't even me, yo. Nigga little here. And I think Zion ain't really built like that. But fuck it. We had an hour and a half. We the Russians, the Russians gonna do what the Russians do. They gotta link up with Effie. We're gonna talk about Monet. Fuck that. We had to talk about Monet. Everybody at the bar getting tipsy. Here comes the one and the two and the three. Monet. All right, we're going to do the rundown of Monet real quick. And then ain't really too much. Well, we talked about Drew. We kind of went over Kane when we were talking about Noma. All right. Everybody at the bar getting tipsy. 